anything for the head or the heart. Anything else is your ass. Choto Mate, you have an invitation, Kado. It is after dark. The freaks and the criminals come out. They gather at the vibrant and buzzing nightclubs for shady business and hedonistic activities like drinking and hitting on the opposite sex. Some of my favorite movie scenes take place in nightclubs. I just love how atmospheric these scenes can be if they are really well executed. I think that nightclubs are one of the most challenging settings to film in as they are usually crowded, noisy and dark. This puts high demand on both the actors, the cameramen and the lighting department as well as on the costume designers and the directors. Let's dive in and have a look at my top 10 favorite nightclub scenes. Number 10 is found in Lost in Translation where the faded movie star Bob Harris and the neglected young woman Charlotte go bar hopping in downtown Tokyo. You really are having a midlife crisis, huh? They take us through a fancy nightclub with light art from which they're chased away with BB guns. Next they end up dancing a bit at this chill place that reminds me of the homely microbars at the Golden Guy district. And when everyone is sufficiently drunk, they of course head to a karaoke club. What elevates this montage of bar hopping is how atmospheric and down to earth it all feels. You really want to join the gang and sing along with them. As a big fanboy of the movie, my girlfriend and I actually rented the same room for a session of karaoke for a vacation to Japan. Number 9 is found in Hackers. A vicious virus has been blamed on hackers, and to clear their names, Date and Kate set out to track down the iconic and underground hackers, Razor and Blade. This takes us into the underground New York club scene, where every single person could go for being a style icon. I've seen this movie more than 30 times, and I keep discovering new crazy outfits on every rewatch. I would love to spend a night out at a club like this one. I especially love the psychedelic VJ videos running in the background. Number 8 is found in Black Swan, where the dedicated ballet dancer Nina lands the lead role in the production of the Swan Lake, where she is to play both the pure white swan and the seductive black swan. However, due to her innocence, she is having a bit of trouble playing the black swan. But I knew the white swan wouldn't be a problem. The real work will be your metamorphosis into her evil twin. In her struggle to find her inner black swan, she starts losing her sanity, which escalates in this club scene where her competitor, Lily, leads her into temptation. The scene has been analyzed to death in many film classes, which is probably because of the hidden frames throughout the scene. The movie is highly inspired by the excellent enemy, Perfect Blue, which you should also check out. Number 7 is the social network. In this scene they place the awkward and innocent Mark Zuckerberg in a large and pulsating techno club with the confident and seductive Sean Parker. Sean wants in on the Facebook and he uses all of his storytelling abilities and compliments to lure Zuckerberg in. This is our time. This time, you're gonna, you're gonna hand him a business card that says, I'm CEO, bitch. That's what I Sean wants Zuckerberg to feel like it is the two of them against the world of evil mega corporations. The scene is so well executed and it is impressive that David Fincher pulls off creating a scene with heavy dialogue despite the loud music. Number 6 is Eurotrip. Scotty and his friends are backpacking Europe and they have run out of money. But it doesn't matter, in Eastern Europe everything is cheap. To spend their last few bucks they go to an underground techno club that most of all looks like it was created by Nikola Tesla. And they are playing a hilarious remix of the infamous Scotty Doesn't Know. 
At the club, Scotty's friend Jenny hooks up with a rich dream guy, and this scene is just genius. So, you just go around Europe sleeping with every woman you meet? No, please, Jennifer, it is not like that. I also sleep with men. To drown her sorrows, they all end up drinking absinthe, and things get way out of hand. They really are the worst twins ever. Number 5 is Fright Night. Charlie Brewster's neighbor is a vampire. And to escape him, Charlie and his girlfriend Amy seek refuge at a nearby club called Club Radio. While Charlie is calling the famous vampire slayer Peter Vincent for help, the hot and seductive vampire Jerry enters the club. He immediately charms Amy and invites her out on the dance floor, and she has no chance of resisting. Do you really want to resist an eternal life with a hot guy who doesn't age? I think not. Also, despite being super hot, Jerry will never become vain, as he does not have a mirror image. The scene is 80s in the best possible ways, with neon lights and great 80s music and tons of colorful 80s looks in the background. I'm sure the scene will remind you of a scene a bit further down the list. Number 4 is found in American Psycho. In American Psycho, the club setting is used cleverly for distorting whatever sick thing Patrick Bateman is telling the girls. You're a fucking ugly bitch. I want to stab you to death and then play around with your blood. In this scene, we get a peek into the yobby club scene where coke is the drug of choice and where subcultures thrive. Can you keep it down? I'm trying to do drugs. Patrick even gets to pick up a cute blonde. So what do you do? I'm into uh, well, murders and executions mostly. Do you like it? Well, it depends. Why? Well, most guys I know who work in mergers and acquisitions really don't like it. Sometimes you just hear what you want to hear. Number three is John Wick. John is hunting down the spoiled and idiotic son of the local crime boss at the club called the Red Circle. Here, Josef Tarasov is hiding in the VIP room of the club, getting drunk and flirting with the girls. The club is packed with bodyguards, but it is no challenge for John fucking Wick. Never has hyper-violence been so pretty as when we follow John as we pick off the crooks one by one. To start out, John uses stealth. But after John's presence is made known, it turns into a game of cat and mouse as John first chases Joseph across the dance floor and then through the VIP areas. With this movie, the gun fu of the 80s John Woo movies was merged with the neo-noir genre of the 90s into what is one of the best action movies in recent years. Number 2 is Blade. This scene is crazy iconic and it might as well have been number 1. We follow a random guy as he follows a foxy Eastern European girl through a butchery into an underground techno club. Everyone is dressed in black or white, as one did in the end of the 90s, when the techno scene was at its highest in Europe. Much to the random guy's surprise, blood suddenly start pouring from the sprinklers. It is here that he finds out that he is at a vampire nightclub. Before he gets into too much trouble, Blade shows up for the rescue. This movie is just super stylish throughout, and it is heavy on leather trench coats and bluish color grading. Try to watch this movie side by side with The Matrix, and it is obvious that though The Matrix is awesome, it was highly inspired by Blade, which was released just 7 months earlier. Now it is time for a few honorable mentions. We have the bass slapping club scene from the vigilante movie Savage Streets. 
we have the club shootout from the fantastic neo-noir crime thriller Collateral. We have the dance-off at the gay club from American Pie 3. And finally, we have the ridiculous dance pickup approach from the Inbetweeners movie. And now on to number one, and it is from The Terminator. Sarah Connor finds out that Sarah Connors are being systematically killed, so she takes refuge at the Tech Noir nightclub. From here she tries to call the police and to call her best friend to get saved. Sounds kind of like the scene in Fright Night, right? So the Terminator picks up the call and finds out that Sarah is hiding at the club. It doesn't take him long to track her down and into the club. The Terminator starts roaming the club trying to locate Sarah with his cold stare. Back then Arnold was just so menacing. I also love how the theme of the club Technoir is all metal with the chairs and the tables being made out of metal. Club scenes do not come any better than this one. Thank you for watching and I will catch you later.